guys, how are you? It's Lindy and welcome to a new video! Oh. Oh. In today's video, I am going to do something that I am extremely nervous about. I am so nervous, but I'm also really excited, but I'm also so incredibly nervous. Oh. Yes, today I'm going to dye my hair and I'm not just going to dye it any other color. I am going to get split hair dye So the plan is to dye this side of my hair black Black and this side of my hair silver and as you can probably imagine This is kind of scary. Um, I've never dyed my hair black in my life before um, because it's just it's a very intense color and it's really hard to get rid of it if you don't like it. So I, I, just, I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But I am going to do it because I really want to have spit hair dye. Like I've been wanting spit hair dye ever since I was 14 or something and I never did it. So I feel like I should just do it right now. So that is what I'm going to do today. I already bleached my hair as you can see um, it is still really yellow but I just couldn't get the yellow out of my hair like I did a bleach wash two times and it just stayed this color yellow I also put a lot of silver shampoo in my hair and left it in for like an hour and still it is pretty yellow so um, I really hope that the color is going to take well on my hair because otherwise I'm just gonna look like a idiot so for the hair dye that I'm going to use today, I'm going to use Lunar Tights hair dye. Surprise, surprise. I've been using this hair dye for a long time already. This is also the brand that I um, got my yellow hair dye from. And I absolutely love this brand. So I'm going to use them again today. So I got the color Eclipse Black and I got the color Silver Lining. And Silver Lining is actually the color that I used to dye my hair silver with back in the day when I had silver hair. So this is a very pretty color, so I hope it's gonna look as good as it did before. Uh, I also got the color Slate Grey, which is a darker grey, and I might end up mixing this with the silver lining. And I also got the color Smoky Moth. So I thought, because my hair is still really yellow, I thought it might be a smart idea to mix a little bit of this like uh, mauve, violet color with the silver lining just to cancel out the yellow in my hair so i think i'm just gonna put like a little bit of smoky moth in the silver lining so yeah um i've been talking enough i think i just need to dye my hair right now i am so nervous i am going to pee my pants let's just get started on the hair dye so i am back with my beautiful hair dyeing t-shirt and my hair is towel dry and i'm just going to brush it um, normally you're not supposed to apply hair dye on wet hair but with this hair dye it specifically says so on a direction that you need to apply it on damp hair like towel dry hair because it's gonna make it easier to spread the color out and it is true because this hair dye is the easiest hair dye to apply to your hair because you can just apply it on wet hair. So that's why I love this hair dye. So now I need to make sure that I do like a very even uh, parting in the middle of my hair. And this is a very crucial part and I'm home alone. So nobody is going to be able to check the back of my head. So I hope I'm going to do it right. Because otherwise I am going to throw myself off the balcony. Okay, so... Okay, so uh, after like one hour of trying to section my hair off, I think I got it pretty even. So I'm gonna start off by applying the silver side. And this is also the side that I'm kind of scared of because I'm not sure if it's gonna end up looking as I want it to. Because black is just black, that's probably going to cover everything. But I don't know if the silver is gonna look very good on my yellow hair. So I'm going to start with the silver side. Right now. <laughs> You can already see that it takes a lot better on my roots than on the rest of my hair. And I was kind of scared of that happening, but you know, nothing I can really do about that.
I'm just gonna do the back of my head off camera because right now I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna finish this half and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this side is done and honestly it's looking pretty silver. But I do see some like yellow bits in there. So I feel like I kind of need to put another layer on top of it once I've rinsed this out. But you know, that's a problem for the future. Now we're just going to focus on this side of my hair and that is going to be the black part of my hair. So yeah, let's do this. the blackest black I've ever seen in my life. I am so scared of this. Okay, so most of my hair is um, covered in hair dye. This is so intense, but I feel like I'm gonna like it. So I'm not nervous anymore. Well, I'm still pretty nervous, but anyways. So again, I'm just going to continue this off camera uh, because again, I can't see the back of my head. So I'm just gonna finish that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's in my hair right now and there is no way going back. So if this ends up looking terrible, then I am fucked for life. But you know, who cares? I care. Okay. So now I've got the hair dye in my hair. I'm just gonna let it sit for about an hour. On the packaging it says 35 minutes. And normally I always do 35 minutes. But since I now was kind of scared that my hair was a little bit too yellow and too dark for the hair dye. I'm just gonna give it some more time to really penetrate in my hair. So I'm just gonna let it sit for an hour. Then I'm going to rinse it out with cold water. Always rinse hair dye out with cold water because otherwise you're just gonna get rid of the hair dye immediately. And that's not what you want, I think. And yeah, then I'll hopefully be back with a beautiful hair. But I might be back with terrible looking hair, so. Okay. So yeah, let's wait and see. What happened? So I am back with my new hair color. <laughs> it's actually already been a few days since I dyed my hair, but when I dyed my hair, I didn't have any time anymore to film the end video. So yeah, it's been a few days. I've had my hair like this for a few days and I absolutely love it. Oh my god i did do something different than what i showed you guys earlier so i just kind of wanted to let you guys know what i did as i said in the beginning of the video i was kind of scared that my hair on this side was still too dark and too yellow for the silver lining hair dye to show up which actually ended up happening when i applied the silver lining it honestly it, it didn't look yeah it just didn't look good because my hair was still too dark uh, at the roots it looked incredibly gorgeous because my roots were very uh, white and the silver lining looked exactly like I wanted it to look but I had some like darker pieces in my hair and it just it just looked kind of gross it was very patchy and it was honestly just not what I wanted it to be which I already thought was going to happen but I just couldn't get my hair any lighter than that so unfortunately those are kind of the consequences I had to deal with so what I ended up doing was I ended up mixing silver lining with a slate grey which is their dark grey color so I mixed like one to one ratio and then I applied that to my hair so now I had like a dark silver color on this side and this actually ended up covering my yellow pretty well. I still have some patches, like it isn't a really even color. But again, that is just because my hair wasn't even to begin with. So this was just going to happen, I already knew that. Um, but still, I really love it. I do wish that this side was lighter, but it just wasn't possible. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I have dark grey now, dark grey and black, but honestly it still looks really cool. So I'm still really happy with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So 
yeah, this is how I dyed my hair. Black and silver. I'm so excited. I'm really interested in knowing what you guys think of my hair. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did you like the yellow better? Do you want me to dye my hair a different color? I don't know. I just want to know what you guys think of it. So yeah, this is everything I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my makeup Instagram and my normal Instagram and on Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Everybody always says it in videos and I never say it, but you know, you should definitely hit that ring button to get notifications every time I post a video. And I, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching again and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.